This is Fashion Tips and Wild West Wisdom, and I'm your highly trained cowboy fashion reporter, Sean Williams. Now today I've got on another eye-popping, head-turning pearl snap shirt. Those pearl snaps. This lovely shade of white is called Distressed Bacon Powder. Now, I'm down here in Southwest Kansas, cooking on a wagon this week at the Lazy J, and we've got part of the crew here. David Jones, Mark Wheeler, and Casey, they're all in pearl snaps. We got Johnny over here, my little buddy. He got on a button down. We're gonna have to have some fashion advice later. Travis, you got on a blue eclipse. Now I'm gonna talk some wagon etiquette here in a minute, but first let me show you this little chuck wagon that David redid. This is a 1946 GMC pickup, and it is a bad cat. So let's talk some etiquette now. Now when you're punching cows out here on the chuck wagon, there's a lot of etiquette that's involved in the southern states anyway that I've worked. And the chuck box area right here, this is the cook's domain. Nobody's allowed to mess with it or even come near it till he hollers chuck and it's time to eat. You dang sure don't want to be caught walking between the chuck box lid and the fire. And then there's the wreck pans over there and people are expected to fall in there and help clean up a little bit if you don't have a hood. Now, I've got some bread pudding cooking here right now. And the way you bake in a Dutch oven, you put a few coals on the top of the lid. And you put a few coals underneath the bottom. And that heat comes together and it cooks it pretty nice. But now one of the most important things I've ever learned about cooking on a wagon without an Arizona Back in 1992, Cole Morehouse taught me that when you're stirring gravy on the wagon, you always stir it clockwise. A lot of people don't know that. I'll see y'all next month. Keep snapping.